Welcome back everyone to another video. I did not do a video last week, but I'm back again for the new year. Now we had a great 2022 together, and I'm looking forward to another great year of trading ahead. Now we did get a good start for 2023, just like in 2022, when everyone was bullish on the markets, we were bearish and shorted when everyone was caught off guard by the bear market. Now this week, we were already on a short swing and managed to close out our shots in profits and now leaning bullish. Now where will this really take us? Let's talk more about it in this video. Now this week, it was mostly just consolidating. We did have a short swing position open since three weeks ago. Now we were looking for signs of a bottom to take them off. And Monday and Tuesday, we got a dump of the market right, but the relief rallies we were expecting were all subpar. That is one of the reasons I kept reminding my guys to only short the rallies and don't even try going long for relief rallies because they were most likely going to be weak. Now it turns out we were right. Now we did well just trading according to the direction, shorting all pops, but on Wednesday, the indicators were already showing a break of the 28 December's low before a possible face ripping short squeeze coming soon. Now Thursday, we were expecting one more leg down. We did get the drop, but it did not break the lows. Thus, I told the guys to hold on to their short positions. Now we did get the break of lows right before Friday's non-farm payroll report on the NQ, which is when we started covering shorts. Now we closed up all the shots before the rally started on session open, just as we had expected. Now indicators were right again for the week. Another fantastic week for the guys in Discord. We have been on a winning streak for months. Now you can also be part of this community instead of sitting at the sidelines. All you have to do is to join my Patreon using the link down at the description box below to get access to our private Discord community. Now starting from less than 20 USD a month, or less than a cup of coffee a day, giving you the trading edge and live updates on the market. What are you still waiting for? We have technical analysis to benefit all kinds of traders, be it if you are a day trader or a swing trader. Now we also have macro analysis to benefit the longer term investors. It's time to change your trading journey now. Making money in this market is not difficult. You just got to give yourself a chance, just like many of my guys did. Now, majority of the people ended 2022 in the negative. But in this Discord, we ended 2022 positive. Now, looking at the smart money, dumb money confidence, that is showing that both the smart money and dumb money are starting to get bullish. Now, this is the time we should see a more significant rally take place. It could last for a week, possibly even stretching to multiple weeks. Now, there are just too many puts and bearish sentiment in the market now for capitulation to take place. They are possibly going for another bull trap to make retailers think the worst is over before making the real move. Now, next week, we have Powell speaking on Tuesday, CPI and initial jobless claims on Thursday, where we have consumer sentiment on Friday, a volatile week ahead. All right, we also have banks reporting earnings on Friday as well. As we all know, the earnings season has started again. Now we will see in 2023 if the rate hikes last year is starting to have effects or take effects on the companies. Like I've said last year multiple times, rate hikes do not take effect immediately and it will take a year or so to finally see it kick in. So this will show whether we get a recession in 2023. Now hopping over the technical charts, this is the VIX. Now we can see the VIX is currently in a wedge okay, on the daily chart. So there's a possibility we will cons continue consolidating to the apex before we see a break either towards the downside or to the upside. Okay, so wedge are pretty neutral. Okay, but based off the weekly chart analysis and the indicators, there is a very strong possibility. In fact, more than 70% of the chance we will see this break to the upside. Okay, so on the daily chart, it is a wedge, but on the weekly chart, it looks more like a bottoming process after the multiple weeks of drop. Okay, so if it does break up to the upside, then we should see a pretty huge drop on the indices in 2023. 
Now, in the event that we break towards the downside, then we can say that the bear market is probably over. Okay, so as of now, monitor the daily chart, look out on the VIX, on the wedge, spot on which side the VIX breaks. That will be the move for the next few weeks, I would say, at least a few weeks ahead. Now hopping over to the S&P 500 SPY ETF. So similarly, the SPY has been in a wedge. Okay, on come Friday, it actually broke out of this wedge. Now, could it be a false breakout? Then you will have to see whether we retest, whether we hold on the retest of the wedge breakout. Now, it could go all the way up here towards 396 to retest the downtrend resistance line. Now, if it fails here, we could have another huge drop towards the bottom demand zone. But as of now, okay, if we broke out of the wedge, we also broke out of the demand zone. So we should be leaning towards bullish until we break back in the demand zone or even worse still, break back in to the wedge. Now, if we do a false breakout of this wedge, we will come back down and this will be a pretty big drop. Now hopping over to the NASDAQ 100 Triple Q ETF, you can see that we have been supported at the demand zone at 260 to 262. As of now, we broke in and closed in the supply zone. This is the first supply zone or we will call the first resistance. Okay. Now if we break out of this supply zone, okay, we could do a retest and come back towards 279 all the way up to 284. Okay, so the first resistance to break will be around the 270 to 272 area, okay, around this area. Now, if we break up, okay, we do a retest, it could retest here, and then this will be the next level to look at. All right, so if we do come up here, we could retest the long term downtrend resistance line before we initiate another drop. Okay, but as of now, it is, um, so you have to look at it in a more bullish term, all right? Because the demand zone held. Okay, we are in the supply zone. Of course, we could get rejected off here come Monday. Uh, but as of now, based off technicals, I do think we could break this supply zone to retest the upper levels here. I hope you were to Apple. So if you watched the videos weeks ago when we were roughly here, I did tell you Apple was looking exceptionally bearish more bearish than a lot of the larger tech stocks okay and we will be looking at the lows here around 134 to be broken okay and even the lows here for june which is around the uh, one the 129 so I, I told you this lows has not been broken and it should be broken when we are over here two weeks later yes uh, we got it okay we got a break of lows here but currently okay apple does have a weekly chart bullish divergence. We also have a daily chart bullish divergence. Okay, so we should be looking at Apple currently getting a pretty strong uh, relief rally coming. Okay, we could retest the 139 or even 143 to 147. Okay, so as of now, Apple is bullish after the break of lows here. All right. So, do not short. I repeat, do not short the lows. So hopping over to Tesla, as uh, you can see, we had a capitulation. So, the previous video, I did warn about going long. Okay, because in a capitulation, okay, you usually, even if you get bullish divergences, um, it looks like it's about to get a bounce, you still do not get it. Okay, so going long on a capitulation is a very, very risky move. But as of now, as of 6 January, where my guys told me to help check up on Tesla, okay, I did check on the Delta. It looks very promising, as I shared to them over here. Okay, we did anticipate one more low first, which it actually already done. Okay, because on 6 of January, this was um, before markets open. Okay, so when market opened, we did get a new low, which tested a 102 support. Okay, and then we did a bounce off there. All right, close above the 110 support. So as of now, the delta seems like this is a temporary bottom forming. 
Now, is it for sure? We do not know. But based off the delta, I do anticipate a relief rally coming. Okay. Now, the question is, where will the relief rally stop? It could be at 135, 144, 154, or even 167. Any of these levels. Okay. Before the drop continues. But as of now, daily chart has a bullish divergence. Delta does show that the buyers are stepping in. Shots are starting to cover. The buying delta is a lot higher than the selling delta. Okay, which is a bullish sign. Technically, it is a bullish sign. Okay, so should you go long here? That depends on your risk appetite. Okay, whether you do, um, whether you like doing counter trend trades. Because as you can see, this is a very strong downtrend. Okay, on a strong downtrend, um, relief rallies can be volatile as well. It could be strong as well, getting all the way up here before we start the next leg down. Okay, but um, sometimes you could get a weak move like that before another huge drop take place. So it really depends on, okay, are you in for a move like this? Okay, or risking your capital for a move like this? Okay, for in case your drawdown could be pretty huge over here. Unless you, step, you set a pretty short or tight stop loss right below the lows at 102 okay so look out for your resistance and your supports um and then you gauge off whether you want to go long or wait for the relief ready to be over and then you go short again for tesla popular to nvidia so nvidia has been supported at the 140 levels okay, as of now the daily chart is actually turning bullish but the weekly chart is still bearish. Okay, so what could possibly happen is a relief rally towards the 151 all the way up to the 160. Okay, so this could be the entire supply zone. Okay, you could retest and then break lower. Okay, so on the daily chart, we could be getting a relief rally and then continue on to the weekly charts, bearish uh, movements, bearish sentiments to retest the bottom demand zone okay so as of now look out for your resistance 151 up to 160.5 and then after that look for um possible drops coming all the way down to 130 or 108 now hopping over to amd so amd similarly has been holding the 62.3 support now we should go up to retest the 67.8 and if it breaks, then the 71.5 resistance. Now take note, this should only be a relief rally. Okay, because on the weekly chart, it still looks like the bottom will be tested and possibly even broken. Okay, so we should be looking at a uh, move, something similar to this. Okay, up, retest here or here, and then the downtrend resumes. Alright, so look out for resistance that will be at 67.8 and 71.5. Okay, if it somehow managed to stretch to 74.5, okay, keep a lookout there. Okay, then and your support will be 62.3 and 56.8. Now hop over to Alibaba. Alibaba really does look a little overextended without a significant pullback. Okay, the pullbacks have been minor, has been on consolidation. Um, this is one of the reasons why at the bottom here okay i told the guys to go long and not to go short on ads at all okay the reason being if this is the true bottom as i had predicted all the rallies when we get it it should be pretty strong and pullbacks are pretty minor okay so we have been holding this support here at 87 it could it couldn't break and in fact it did a push up Okay, a very significant push up now as of right now okay it is climbing up on bearish divergence on the daily chart but is this a good opportunity to go short i will say no because it could come up all the way here to cover this gap at around the 121 before it does a huge um, pullback towards the support here or even here okay so as of now um, ADRs are one of the thicker 
one of the sector that I would personally not even think of going short. But in fact, what I told the guys is every pullback is an opportunity to add or to accumulate towards a longer term position. Okay. Ever since the bottom here, it created a monthly chart and a weekly chart bullish divergence. Okay. And that's why I told the guys to only go long and not to even think of going short. Okay, as of now, I'm still waiting for another pullback to accumulate more longs on the ADRs. I do have a few tickers on the ADRs that I'm already on long position. Okay, so I will continue to do the same. Okay, as it drops, I will accumulate. As it drops more, I will accumulate more. Okay, so far I've been right on the ADRs. Okay, we spotted the bottom. Right now, we are on long positions only okay if you want to go short it's at your own risk because after a two-year downtrend when it finally hits the bottom usually the initial spike is very very powerful and that's why i do not want to go short on that okay but of course when you start to see this thing turn okay of course if you want to go short it will be safer but until you see a huge turn down back down Okay, it's still pretty dangerous because on the weekly chart and the monthly chart, it just started turning up. Okay, so it could go on for multiple weeks. In fact, it could go up to 120, even 138 before you start to see a huge pull down. Of course, it will not, by then, it will not pull down all the way to 60s or 80s, probably the 100s, 90s, or even the 120s. Okay, so as of now, uh, if you miss the bottom, um, too bad. Okay, you can only accumulate on whatever pullback that you get. I want to thank you guys for watching till the end. Now, I will appreciate if you help like the video and subscribe to the channel. You have not. Now, if you find the information useful and want to support the channel, you can hop on to the Buy Me A Coffee page or the Patreon page down at the description box below. Now, if you join our Patreon, you do get access to our private Discord community for live market updates daily. Now, if you're an active trader or investor, it is good to get daily live updates starting from less than 20 USD a month because videos will not be able to update you of last minute movements of the market, especially when in, we are in a volatile time like this. Now, as always, trade safe, invest wise, and I'll see you guys in the next one.